Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you a two ingredient hair girl spray that you can add to your regimen to combat hair loss and also to help you grow your hair a lot faster. So if you're interested, you definitely want to make sure that you keep on watching and you watch till the end so you don't miss out on any useful instructions. Now let's get into the video. So to begin with, we are going to need some ground coffee. So this one I'm using is not decaf guys, it's got caffeine in it. So whatever coffee it is that you're using, please make sure it's got caffeine in it because that's the active ingredient. So I'm using two, uh, one and a half tablespoon of um, coffee and I'm going to go ahead and add some water to this, hot water and just allow it to infuse. Coffee helps to stimulate hair follicles and speeds up hair growth. The caffeine in it also helps to improve blood circulation to your scalp which in turn allows for nutrients to reach your scalp more efficiently and this results in quicker and healthier hair growth. So after I added the water, I'm just going to allow it to sit around to infuse while I work on the next ingredient and essentially it's ginger. Ginger again helps to improve blood circulation to the scalp while also stimulating its hair follicles which in turn can promote healthy hair growth. It contains a lot of vitamins and minerals and this help to uh, strengthen your hair strands to combat hair loss and also ginger helps to contribute to restoring moisture loss from the hair so it's quite useful you can use it in this manner or you can use it as part of a dip conditioner i actually have a recipe coming up in the nearest um, future using ginger as part of a dip conditioner and it's super amazing honestly so stay tuned for that video so you can use as much ginger as you need to guys and also as much coffee as you need to it just depends on the quantity that you're trying to make um, so peel off your ginger essentially and you're just gonna cut it into smaller pieces and then we're gonna go ahead and put it together with the coffee <laughs> Once that's all done, just go ahead and pop it in the same um, bowl in which we've got the coffee. So we haven't strained it yet and that's fine. So just put your ginger in there guys and then we're going to go ahead and give it a really good blend. Um, just to make sure that you know all the ginger is properly blended. What you can do if you don't have a hand blender because some of you sometimes ask you can actually grate the ginger directly in the same bowl um, if you've got a grater or if you have ginger powder it's okay to use as well the only issue with ginger powder well it's not necessarily an issue the reason why i don't usually like to use powder so much is just because sometimes they're a bit processed guys and they may not be quite full of nutrients as the raw stuff itself so I prefer to always use the raw stuff but obviously if you don't have actual ginger at home please use ginger powder so um, after that's blended we're just going to go ahead and strain it so I'm using a wig cap to do this but feel free to use whatever you've got um, available <laughs> This is what it looks like um, after it's all done. So we're just going to transfer it into an applicator bottle just so it's easier to use. You can also store this in your fridge for up to two to three weeks depending on your fridge temperature. And like I always say guys, you can make batches and freeze and sort of defrost and use as in one is required. Ginger, uh, not ginger, sorry, coffee can actually help to darken your hair as well and or sort of prevent premature growing so it's quite useful in that regard obviously i've got a lot of gray hair already um but yeah if you have darker hair now and you're looking to perhaps not have too many grays maybe consider using coffee a little bit more often 
Um, okay, so yeah, we pop that in the applicator bottle and we're pretty much ready to use it. I'm going to talk a little bit more about how you can use this and also show you guys how to use it. So my hair currently is washed and conditioned. So I'm just using this as a leave-in spray. So I'm not going to wash my hair after I've used this. But you can also spray it on your hair guys and put a heat, cap, a heat cap on and let it sit for about 45 minutes and you can go ahead and rinse it off with warm water if you don't want to leave it in. But I really don't mind the smell of this at all. I love the smell of coffee and this particular spray doesn't smell bad at all and it's super beneficial for your scalp and also for your hair in general so yeah it won't do any harm just leaving it in your hair and that's basically how i have been using it so because my hair is already in sections i'm just gonna undo each one of them and essentially just apply it to my scalp just like you saw here and also throughout the length of my hair i'm massaging that in just to make sure that you know my hair is kind of covered with it now i'm using my moisturizing butter um, this is normally available on my website but it's currently out of stock um but i'm working to restock soon guys and i'll let you know once um they are back in stock but i'm using this to seal the moisture in my hair but you can also use an oil or any other butter that you may have sitting around um, will be absolutely fine for this as well. I do love this butter especially because it has shea butter in it like the real shea butter not the one you get from you know Amazon or eBay that are processed and all of that. This is like the real stuff from the real source and I do love it because it just helps a lot in stealing the moisture and makes tangling easier. Yeah, it's just nice. But anyways, whatever you've got guys would do. So use whatever you've got available. Now after that's done guys, as you can see here, I'm just using a white tooth comb and just combing my hair just to make sure it's properly detangled. And then I'm just going to twist and move on to the next section and repeat until the rest of my hair is completely done. Now, I would normally use this twice to three times a week. It depends on how dry your hair gets because our hair has different porosity and some of us are able to retain moisture in our hair for a little bit longer than others. I particularly, my hair does get dry pretty quickly because um, I have medium, medium to or sort of normal to high porosity hair. So, it does, it does absorb the moisture pretty quickly, but also it lets go of it pretty quickly as well. That kind of makes sense. Like when I wash my hair, for example, within like the next five minutes of just coming out of the shower, guys, my hair is already dry. Like that's just how, you know, quickly my hair loses moisture. Um, so I have to put a bit more effort in moisturizing my hair. And if you're just like me with normal to high porosity hair, you may need to use a little bit more often so perhaps three times a week or even more it just depends on how your hair feels it's often better to always listen to your hair guys because it, it tells you what it needs like if your hair is just okay like soft and fine you don't necessarily have to reapply if your goal is to prevent hair loss or help to regrow you know, um, bald patches or lost edges, then perhaps you can reapply a little bit more often um, because it can help you stimulate hair, hair growth in those areas. Um, so sometimes I don't always follow with a butter or an oil. It just depends, um, especially if I've just done that like a day or two ago. I would just, you know, apply to my hair and just move on. Um, so yeah just listen to your hair essentially so this brings us to the end of the video guys I hope you guys have enjoyed the video if you did please please go ahead and give it a thumbs up I would really really appreciate that and also don't forget to subscribe to channel if you're not already like I always say please guys subscribe to my channel subscribe YouTube tells me that there's so many of you guys that are watching that are not subscribed. Please go ahead and subscribe. And also, don't forget to share the video 
with a friend or a family member you benefit could learn something as well and i'll catch you in the next one thanks for watching guys bye